Hi, I'm Richard Leveille. I'm an adjunct professor in Earth and Planetary Sciences at McGill University in Montreal, and also a professor of geology at John Abbott College. Uh, currently, I'm a uh, co-investigator uh, with the SuperCam instrument on the Perseverance rover, which is currently active on Mars, investigating uh, Martian geology and searching for uh, evidence of past life on Mars. mission is really looking for what we call signs of life or biosignatures. Perseverance rover is actually going to drill uh, little uh, pieces of rock, little what we call rock cores, sort of cylinders of rock, and it's going to collect those, put them in a sample container, and eventually drop off the sample container. And in a future mission or a couple of missions, uh, we will actually go collect that sample container and bring those samples back to Earth. Uh, so then the next questions become, is this life similar to life on Earth? Is it based on RNA and DNA and all those you know, biochemicals that, that are shared amongst life on Earth? Uh, and if that's the case, well, then the question is why? You know, how is this life on another planet similar to life on Earth? What happened? And then we can study the similarities and differences of that life and uh, perhaps learn, you know, interesting things about biology and evolution. A SuperCam is an instrument that, you know, is on the top of the mast of the rover and it shoots a couple of lasers uh, a few meters away from the rover. So it can basically do remote sensing. It can analyze the composition of rocks and soils uh, around the rover within, uh, within a few meters. Uh, so that's a very effective tool. We can sort of, you know, as we drive to a new location, we get images of, uh, of the surroundings of the rover and then we have to decide, okay, we, we want to see if we, we're seeing new rocks or there's uh, um, you know, similar rocks to what we've seen before and sort of characterize those. And so we'll analyze a certain number of rocks around the rover um, and we have to decide which one. Of course, Mars, you know, the rocks are very much exposed. There's no snow, there's no vegetation. It's, uh, there are plenty, plenty of rocks to choose from. So we have to make a choice you know, as a team and um, which targets we're going to analyze on a given day. We, uh, we, inter we interact now during the mission, so we have, you know, science discussion and, uh, you know, uh, people like Chris Hurd have, a, have a, a particular role with the return samples. Uh, so we're discussing planning for that, you know, what are the kinds of samples we need to collect and, and for what objectives we're going to meet those. Um, yeah, so uh, no big parties yet, of course, because <laughs> it's a strange uh, situation, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have some fellow Canadians involved.